messages do you have for my subscribers? What do they need to know today? What messages do you have for my subscribers? Give me three more cards for my... Two more cards for my subscribers. Two more cards. here is the page of wands y'all have good news coming in um and i feel like as far as your career there is something you're good at there's something that you have a passion for that you need to turn that skill whatever you have into some sort of business whether it's just the second income or you just make it your full time um there's somebody that's about to communicate with you. So you're going to receive a message from somebody. It could be a sexual message. It could just be a flirty message. I don't know. But I feel like this is someone you're not currently involved with. This could be somebody that you broke up with. This can even be like an ex-friend or something. I don't know. Um, then you have the Ace of Cups. So you definitely have a love offer coming in. It could be a totally new person after going through a breakup. Because Aces represent new beginnings. And then you have the Justice card. So... If this is somebody new, it could be somebody who works in the legal field, doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be somebody that's just very fair, that is a great communicator. Now, if this is somebody from your past, then, you know, they want to make things right with you because they've probably been receiving karma for how they did you. Spirit, tell me about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Page of wands is clarified by the three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like y'all definitely broke up with this person. You just felt like it was just a waste of time. Some of you may end up leaving a job and going towards something you're more passionate about or leaving like a business partnership and doing something on your own. But also, it's like when this person reaches out to you, just let them know. Like, I don't want to be in a situation where I don't feel like I'm a priority to you. I don't want to be in a situation where it feels like you're not putting in a lot of effort or you're giving your time to somebody else. Spirit, tell me about the Fool in Reverse. Fool in Reverse is clarified by the Chariot in Reverse. Some of y'all could experience some car problems, um, but also with the Chariot in Reverse, it's just like, you just feel that things are just not moving forward between the two of you, or you're wondering if it even should move forward between the two of you. It's like y'all are stagnant. And also in your career, you're feeling stagnant. Like, you feel like you should be doing more, but you're not. And that's what I mean. Like, it's something that you're good at. It's something that you're passionate about that you need to become more inspired um, with and turn it into a business. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is clarified by the Two of Wands. Somebody is struggling to make some sort of decision. Also, if you are ready to travel, you may meet a new lover and start like a um, long distance relationship. Spirit, tell me about the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? That's too many cards. Spirit, clarify the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're sad about how they did you. They're sad that you all are like broken up right now. Um, they may even be drinking over you or they could just fucking have a drinking problem. But I do feel like they want to fix it because sometimes for some of you this person could have definitely cheated on you because king of cups in reverse a lot of times it's a cheater spirit tell, oh, i need to see that right here spirit tell me about the three of pentacles in reverse knight of swords in reverse so yeah this person is going to be like listen i know i fucked up but can we not turn this into an argument like bitch the audacity like after what you did to me you talking about don't turn it into an argument is you fucking serious Y'all, look, my hair did not let. Look how I just sweat now. I told you this shit ain't gonna last. I'm about to go back to curly. Anywho, so there's something about the chariot in reverse. Why is the chariot in reverse here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like the issue was this person was giving to someone else was just making the decision to fucking break from you. And it's just like, there was no even give and take. Because you see how this scale is up to this person. This scale is down to that person. So it's like, no. I need reciprocation in this relationship. You can't give to me and another bitch or another man. Like, it doesn't work like that. It's either all or nothing with me. Spirit, tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? That's too many cards. Clarify the two of wands. 
Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're coming back. If you feel like this person abandoned you, rejected you, they're definitely coming back to try to make things right. And keep in mind, I think we're already in the pre-shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. So, of course, exes are going to come back. So, we're talking about the King of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse and a Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they don't want to hold back. Like, after a period of y'all being broken up, they're just like, I don't want to hold back. And they feel like you're their fucking possession as well. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse. Page of Pentacles. They're going to offer you an apology. Some of you may even get a gift. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. King of Pentacles and a Magician. Wow. Yeah, y'all may have somebody new coming in. Especially if y'all been manifesting new love. And this new lover is going to um, spoil you, provide for you. They're going to step up and be who you need them to be. Lover's card at the bottom of the deck. So it's going to be soulmate energy. They're interested in you. They are focused on you. Spirit, tell me about the five of pentacles in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse. This person's claim they don't want to juggle no more. I don't fucking know. But now it may come to a point where you may start fucking juggling. Spirit, tell me about the four of pentacles in reverse and the two of cups in reverse. Four of swords. Yeah, um, you're trying to heal from whatever bullshit they put you through. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for my subscribers? Final likely outcome for my subscribers. Three of Cups. They want to reunite with you. They miss your friendship. But I'm telling you, some of y'all may meet a new person. Also, you got good fortune and success coming in. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, it's telling you to use your intuition about whether it's like beneficial for you to take this person back or not they want you to remember how they did you how you felt when they broke your heart how you felt when you when they betrayed you spirit tell me about the ten of swords and the high priestess five of ones in reverse they're gonna tell you that they don't want to be in conflict anymore they don't want to make you feel like you got to compete for them but the thing is they may have to fucking start competing for you tell me about the five of ones in reverse Four ones. For some of you, they may suggest that y'all move in together. Or y'all may just fucking move somewhere else and don't tell them. You may get approved for a home loan or apartment. Y'all gonna start saying 11 11, but I do feel like, like, I don't know, y'all got some sort of celebration coming up, especially with that three of cups to this four of wands. There's gonna be a lot of happy, even though we're ready to go through retrograde. Yeah, retrograde comes with some bullshit, but I do feel like you're about to experience some sort of happiness. And look, we got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we're talking about the Four of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Y'all about to have a glow up. Y'all are going to be looking good. Your money be going to be doing good. Some of y'all might get a new job. You may start or expand a business. You're going to be taking better care of your health. Some of y'all may get some surgery, which is that Four of Swords here. Y'all going to be recovering from that surgery. Like, you already just be on your shit. So, which means you're going to start to have options. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Some of y'all may block them, but if not, I feel like they're going to come and try to fight for this relationship because they see that you're glowing. Like you're gonna, people are gonna be like, "Damn, you glowing." Yeah, cause I got that fucking piece of shit out of my fucking energy. Now I'm doing better than ever. Now they feel like they want to come in and fight for it. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Oh shit! Hold on, y'all. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Tower. Hmm. What's this tower about, God? Tell me about this tower. Page of Cups. I feel like you're going to suddenly meet somebody new. Or this person just going to, like, I don't know, out of nowhere, drop some bomb on you. But it's going to be something about how they feel about you. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Clarify the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here, Spirit? Clarify the Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. You got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this is, whether it's the new person, old person, I feel like it's your divine counterpart. Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Baby, I'm telling you, y'all are about to experience love, happiness, joy, abundance, like everything. And I think I said that yesterday too. Um, So...